Good evening. Here is the news at 9 on Penn TV Live. I am Jennifer Oloko. Here are the headlines. Students react to the over six month ASO strike. Government threatens to demolish houses at Ifakoijai. Nigerian athlete Toby Amoso wins gold in the 2022 Commonwealth Games. Now the news and details. The ASO strike, which has spanned for about six months, has left many worried over the fate of students in the country. A final year student of mass communication, Welt Adegbe, stated that, like many other students, the strike has wasted their lives. Adegbe explained that due to the strike, students have given up on schooling, while some have gone to search for jobs. Over to our correspondent, wrote to me Esther for more details. I think that the ASU strike has gone on for too long and it has affected too many students. My like students have given up hope and it's the longest I've ever seen in the history of ASU strikes. But then as for me, I've decided that instead of wasting away at home, I would learn fashion designing and my prayer is that the strike will be resolved soon. Residents of Modupe community in Ifako Ijai local government area have expressed fear over the planned demolitions of houses by government. The condition of the road in Mudupe community is gradually going from bad to worse, warning an invading of government. In an interview with a dealer in plumbing materials, Tunde Kofoshi, he stated that the government didn't give proper notice to property owners but just came to mark houses. I've been staying in Nigeria for the past 10 years and the road is very, very bad for a very long time. So we can't be able to go out. So we can't be able to, like, things are very, very difficult. So, and the government have been coming that they want to do the road for us. For like, they've been coming frequently, but we are not seeing any results. And of recent, I heard that they want to demolish some houses. After that, we have not seen anything from them. Nothing, nothing, no results. So we are still suffering, please. Speaking about the development, Chairman Ifakoi Jaya, local government, Lawrence Oba Oke, said the state government has approved the reconstructions of Mudukbe Onijomo Road. He noted it would be a massive project that includes the repair of all constructing roads and the work expected to commence in the next few days. Toby Amoso won the 100 meter hard gold on the 2022 Commonwealth Games with a record of 12.30 seconds. She has become the first Nigerian track and field athlete and in the seconds in history to successfully defeat a Commonwealth game 100 meter hard title. The 25 years old reigning world athlete champion and world record holder is a first Nigerian track and field athlete to win gold medal at two editions of the game. Going on a short break, We'll be right back. Admission into Nigerian Institute of Journalism, full-time and part-time national diploma, higher national diploma, and postgraduate diploma program for 2022-23 academic session is on. Suitable qualified candidates should visit www.nij.edu.ng, check portal, and click the link Admission. Fill the online form and pay the required fee for the application or call 0805-919-6459, 05 NIJ Center for Communication Excellence. 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 Welcome back. Now on entertainment news. Popular hip hop singer Kiss Daniel has been arrested by Tanzania police officers for not showing up at a concert. The artist was scheduled to perform at a warehouse old next door in Arena in Tanzania. Fans took to their social media pages expressing their displeasures over the singer's failure to show up on stage. It was gathered that this happened to be the second time the singer has failed to perform at a fully booked concert while fans waited. <music> now
now we have come to the end of the news at nine here again at the top stories students react to the over six months as a strike government threatens to demolish houses at ipa Koyjai. nigerian athlete toby amosong wins gold in the 2022 commonwealth games you can also like and share your stories on all of our social media platform at pen tv life thanks for watching i am jennifer local